latest episode of the InfoWars news was U.S. Russia enter a state of war. Donald Brutus dodges question about how she got a debate question. And Oprah says you don't have to like Hitler to vote for her. That and a lot more, so stay tuned. For the week of October 24, 2016, is the first one of the day here, and it's an article written by Alex Jones. The title is called, Emergency, U.S.-Russia Entering State of War. War all but declared, and it's actually a video report. I'll be playing a few, a few minutes of that. U.S. and Russia have all declared war. Alex Jones bring, brings down how this manufactured conflict is being used to take over what remains of the United States United States by the globalists. And without further ado, here's Alex Jones, right here. So here's what we know. A state of war currently exists. It has been declared. It has been announced. Not, not, not legally via Congress. But that power has been transferred to the permanent bureaucracy, to the cyber command, the joint command, NORTHCOM, CENTCOM, the whole nine yards. And now they're announcing that they're moving forward. The physical troops, the missiles, they're moving up to the borders with Russia. Proxy jihad armies have been brought into Europe by the millions and the hundreds of thousands here. Eighty percent of them are military-aged men, even according to Interpol. They're sleeper cells in case the states, counties, and cities somehow get back control of the hijacked federal government. They will then activate the sleeper cells as a destabilization campaign, as well as the communist cells and the Black Lives Matter cells that have been given billions of dollars the last few years and have been prepared to shoot and kill police and burn down cities. The beta testing you've seen has been just that. Let's say a one on a Richter scale. The communist destabilization attacks you will see once they actually launch them would be a 10, conservatively. Ladies and gentlemen, we are completely surrounded. We are completely infiltrated. But to quote a famous general from the Korean War, good, we can attack in all directions. We have the moral high ground. We have the facts on our side. We have a lot of people in the government, in the military, and the security apparatus that know exactly what's happening because that's their job. And all I know is we've got to get the word out ahead of this election. This is a plan to bare minimum destabilize our election. Uh, and basically roll out a new Cold War against patriots who are for nationalism, twisting that and claiming that we're actually against America because we don't want globalists and foreign interests running our nation. England has left with the Brexit, getting out of the EU. Russia is pulling out of the globalist system. The United States is pulling out, and that's why General Milley, the head of the Army a week and a half ago, chillingly said, you can pull it up, it was in the Army Times, you think you're going to have the EU collapse, you think Russia's going to stay out of this system, you think... Alright, that's enough. Well, you can see where this is going. But this is absolutely crazy. They know their whole system's falling apart. And now they're pulling out all the stuff to start a war. We also know that Russia is not actually hacking us. It's people within the... within our own government that don't want this woman in president. Okay, folks, this is the second article here, and this is an article written by... Chris... May... Manahan from the Information Libertarian. The title is called Donna Brazier Freaks Out After Megan Kelly Axes How She Got the Big Question in Advance. I'm sure it was just a coincidence. Donna Brazier refused to explain how she got a CNN debate question in advance as and instead went on a rant about she, She's, she's facing prosecution as a Christian woman. Oh. Emails? Emails shared by Wikileaks exposed how Brazier quietly forwarded Hillary Clinton a debate question, which was, was word for word identical to one asked during the CNN TV One town hall debate with Bernie Sanders. In March, from Matty, Matty, 
Brazier insisted that she did not receive the question for two nine, but Kelly pressed her and noted that she had gotten it from somewhere if she had had the exact wording. From here, things got really hot really fast. And you can see where it goes on from here. And you can and Kelly pressed for the further on the source of the on the source while nothing that uh, CNN Jake Tapper commended the leak. Brazier responded by saying Validations falsifies information and WikiLeaks might have added documented emails into the messages by illegally lifted. Donald Trump shared the email shared a video on Facebook after the debate, writing it's it's in the emails. Someone was un Unethically helping crooked Hillary's campaign. She got the she got the question verbatim. And here's a clip about that from Al Jones. You're a thief. Notice she triggered liberation theology taught by the Ford Foundation all over the world to create race war based on the Christian religion. But but the general public would know that she was activating folks saying, I'm a Christian, I know about being persecuted. And that was bringing up the entire slave experience, which they, they want to reproject as a new trauma every time there's a problem. So what she did was brought race in there. Uh, the fact is, she's getting the questions beforehand. It's all rigged. It's all coming out. CNN admits it. And she's sitting there playing dumb about getting the questions to Hillary back during the Democrat debates. <laughs> it's amazing. All right. Thank you, Mr. Jones. But you see... That's very sleazy. I mean, CNN admitted it already, so, but they won't say where she got it from, but this just goes to show, folks. She's a flirt. This, this woman is very, very sleazy, and I think from what I heard her from Alice, that she was married to Alan Greenspan, I think. I'm not sure, sure, but, but this is a very sleazy woman. Sleazy woman, indeed. For the last article day here, this is an article written by Infowars.com, and it just broke, well, Friday. The title is called, You Don't Have to Like Hillary to Vote for Her. Celebrity Democrat Makes Case for Globalist Puppet. Yeah, she's all blackmailed and whatnot. Daytime talk show host Oprah Winfrey has given up trying to convince voters to like Hillary Clinton, but... Says that they should vote for her regardless. <laughs> yeah, right. She was on the TV Dig show when she said that, right? Discussing how political conversations with undecided voters about Hillary Clinton boils down to basically, I don't know if I like her. Winfrey Club claims the electorate does not need to because they won't ever deal with her on a personal level. Who cares? Girl. The reason why I haven't been vocal other than saying I'm with her is because I don't know what to say that could actually pierce through all the noise and chaos and the disgusting vitriol that is going on and actually be heard. What if we told Pastor T.D. Jake on an interview set to be aired next week. She goes on to say that she is not coming over to your house. You don't have to like her, Oprah Winfrey has claimed. You don't have to like her. Do you like this country? Do you like this country? You better get out and vote. Do you like the country? Do you like freedom and liberty? Do you like this country? Okay. Do you like democracy or do you want a demigod? Clinton has constantly pulled low in terms of honesty and truthfulness, especially after the FBI decided not to be charged against her following discovery of private email server which composite national security secrets in violation of U.S. law. I mean, I'm not voting for this woman. Woman Miss uh, Winfrey, A, because one, she's a little demon, and two, she practically sold us out. 
You have any idea what that means? Huh? Miss Winfrey. She's going to kick your kick black people's teeth in so hard it's gonna make their head spin. And oh, oh, I forgot. Here's a clip about that too. No, you can't top that. Another inversion of reality. She wants war. She's lying. We have all the WikiLeaks, the crimes she's committing, selling us out to the Russians and blaming Trump, funding radical Islamists to suppress women and put little girls into sex slavery all over the world. And then Oprah Winfrey, who's made billions of dollars off this free market system, promoting this monster criminal that treats her staff like crap, that is an egomaniac that, that steals George Washington's plates and cutlery that has been involved in every crime you can imagine, shipping out tainted blood for a decade that they knew had HIV and hepatitis sent it out of the Arkansas prisons and they got the money to do it and knew what was happening. Their crimes go on and on and on, persecuting Christians and patriots and conservatives with the IRS, Benghazi ordering the stand down, lying about it, destabilizing Libya, blowing it into pieces and then bringing down much of Africa. Her crimes go on and on and on. And then Oprah Winfrey says, you like democracy? You like freedom? Well, then you're going to love Hillary Clinton, who is a consummate monster, and who Kit Daniels writes in his latest article at Infowars.com, WikiLeaks, Hillary Clinton, editor-in-chief of mainstream media. Her staff, from the New York Times to CNN to you name it, runs it in giant PR campaigns. They've even been caught paying thousands of YouTubers to put out pro videos and tens of thousands of trolls they've hired to run around stirring up garbage on the Internet. And Oprah Winfrey, I tell you, has absolutely discredited herself like nothing I've ever seen. This is truly disgusting. So there you go. Oprah Winfrey officially endorses Hillary Clinton to save democracy. All right. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Basically, I don't even know what to say now. I mean, I mean, I mean, I might as well not watch Oprah, Oprah now. I'm sorry. She just turned me off. Well, that's all the articles I have for you today. If you'd like to read more about these articles, please go to the link below or go to infoworld.com or printify.com. Now you find hundred articles just that I have read for you today. This is the Infoworld. I am Vagano. Love of Fear number three. Please like, subscribe, and donate. Bye-bye.